active day on tap. Some people outside right now, they have their tent up, probably time to head inside. Any outdoor plans, severe storms are beginning to develop. We'll break down the latest thinking because there are some changes. I want to show you again the main zone that we'll watch. Highest, uh, highest uh, probabilities you could run with are east of the metro area out across the plains. Now, the current scenario really does decrease the severe weather potential for the metro area. So the largest of the hail and the strongest of the winds will stay well to the east. Let me show you what we're watching. This is the dew points. This is really a newer development. So southwest winds are bringing your lower dew points, your lower values towards the metro area. You want higher values to be able to dig into the severe uh, criteria. So this is good news. Lack of severe weather is probably anticipated for the metro, but really from Fort Collins, Greeley, all the way towards just off this map, Lyman, this will be the line where storms really fire up as far as producing hail and damaging winds continuing all the way to the east. Southern Colorado, we will watch cloud cover, just a bit more sunshine needed to really fuel all the instability. And as I did mention, that dry southwesterly flow combined with some storms already developing limits our severe potential, but it still is not non-existent. That's what we'll watch. There still is some of the ingredients in place. Futurecast showing you just that. Storms develop across the metro. Watch this blow up as it moves out to the north and the east. By four o'clock, severe worn cell would be likely with this uh, model deception, deception here out towards the far eastern plains with them southern Colorado digging into the activity as well. Storms are slow moving. We're all the way towards 6 p.m. still dealing with some of the stronger severe activity out across the far plains. Again, it's just not a real widespread day for I-25. This is more so at this point where it's looking like we get our act together. Temperature-wise, we're already at the 82 degree mark. We will watch the showers closely if they do continue to roll in quickly. Well, we cool the atmosphere and 82 will likely be our high. If not, warmest day of the year will be on tap. 79 by six o'clock, the sun peaks out in between the shower activity. That'll be another thing that we do watch. Once the storms pass, it will be rather pleasant. 80s and 90s for the western slope, 80s out across the far eastern plains. This is another one of the ingredients. Temperatures, they're just above average so far today and they warmed quickly. That's another key. I went with 84 for the metro area, some upper 80s out across the northeastern plains. It still is a 60, 70 degree day for the foothills, the high country, where more so your garden variety storms will be possible. Larimer Weld County, where we got hit hard yesterday, we will watch again for some of the quicker moving storms, but really 86 temperature wise, there is some instability. So your garden variety storms once again today could easily be on the table. By tomorrow, we will do it all over again. It's lesser of a risk and it's the southeastern corner with once again, storms garden variety for the metro then pushing out across the far eastern plains. Your super seven day forecast we get through today's first alert weather day. Temperatures cool a bit for the next few days. Get this, we dry out by the weekend. Sunday, the warmest day of the year, the sunshine makes a return. Let's get through the next few days and warmer days, they are on the horizon. Joe, warm and wet day ahead of us. Thank you so much for that. And